Jeff, what was the mood like in the locker room after this one? Um, you know, <laughs> relief. Uh, we, we had played, we really played so well. And it was one of our better games we had played, one of our most complete games. And we just had the, you know, just the, for no better term, I don't know. We just blew it there in the end, right? It's just unfortunate. Uh, had a great coverage call. We just didn't execute it. And that's on the coach, right? I'm mad at myself for not putting those kids in that situation a little bit more. Uh, but, man, let, let's get off the negative train. Let's talk about all the great things. There were so many plays in the game. You could literally go through and come up with, I bet you, you could say 35 plays like, that was the play that won the game. That was the play that won the game. And I would say what won the game the most, again, is the most overused word in football is our culture. There's not many teams in the country that blow a 14-point lead with four minutes left, go to overtime, and they, the, the other team comes out and scores immediately, and you come right back and answer, and then you answer, and then you stop them. Their resolve, I've also been on a lot of teams when you have a catastrophic injury like what happened to JT, that the morale of the team just goes completely done. And we, were, we had tears. I mean, Frank drops the very next snap. I know it's because he was crying. And we, we're just so mentally tough that we really do believe in the triangle. We, we just believe it. Our kids just – they won't go away. And that game was a lot like life. There are a lot of good things in life. There's a lot of bad stuff in life. And whoever has the ability to stick to it, they, that old word stick to it, we just, we just stick to it, man. You mentioned you know, they scored two touchdowns late and then they scored first in overtime. Do you have to say anything to like regroup the guys? Or what is the atmosphere like? On the I just hold up that triangle signal and that's all i got to say. I don't say nothing else. We believe it. And uh, that's it. I don't have to say much during the game. We, we, we live it. And uh, I'm proud of them, man. It was a freaking tough. That's a good. That's a really good football team. That's a good football team. You look out there, you're just like, I hope they don't throw it to that guy. I hope they don't throw it to that guy. I hope they don't hand it to that guy. I hope they don't run that guy. I, it's just a lot of good people over there. They do. They do a really good job coaching too. What BV has done to hold that team together to play us like they did. That's impressive. They're good here. Yeah, you, you were talking about back in June as much as this matchup would mean and having to play this team in this building. What does it mean to be able to get the win with that kind of stake? Uh, it's huge. It's huge, there's no doubt, it's to stay in this race. I don't think there's any difference in any of us. I think all of us are just about one possession. Game. We're the, other teams can do it, we just can't do it. And I saw Western Kentucky just smoking somebody. I'm like, man, I wonder what that would feel like. And when we were up 14, I'm like, maybe. <laughs> there it went. So. Jeff, obviously the defensive, everybody's going to focus on the 14-point rally UAB had, but what did it mean for the defense to come up with that last stop on that last overtime? Oh, they're just scrappy. They're scrappy. And, and, and if, you're, if you'll take off the Roadrunner cap and put on an, an objective hat, they had 95 snaps, and I bet we played really good defense on probably 80 of them. And 15 of them just gutted us, right? But, man, when you play really good people, 11, 22, 1, they can make you look bad. And I thought, again, I repeat, I thought Zeno played really well. I was happy for him. I know he wanted to play well against San Antonio, being from San Antonio. I thought he played really well, so props to him. Jeff, do you have an update on JT Clark? What happened and what's the outlook for him? It, you know, just my common sense says from seeing the injury, it, it's, it's, it's better for me to wait, but it, it, just, it does not look good. I, I do know we got some good news. We're going to be able to bring him home with us tonight, uh, so that's good. He's going to be on the plane with us, be around his teammates, and uh, – He's such a good kid. He's as good a human as I've ever coached in my life. And I know I say that about darn near one of my kids. But, man, this kid is special. And it it was tough. It was a very tough deal. That's why getting a degree is so important. That's why the city of San Antonio is so important. Uh, just for me to be able to tell those kids, as good a kid as you are, JT, no matter what happens, somebody will hire you in this city. And you're going to because you're a good boy. You do it. Don't worry. I know where his mind is going immediately. Like, what if? What if? What if? Don't go there. Don't go there. What was your impression of how the team, and then in particular Frank Harris, handled like, the rain and some wind in the second half? So proud of that. You know, that's kind of what people say about Frank, and he just it didn't bother him at all tonight. He, he played as good as he has all year. And we were concerned wind, rain. Uh, he just he played. He had one drop uh, after. I won't even consider that the weather. I'd say that's probably an emotional deal because of what happened with JT, how much he loves JT. Jeff, you guys are 5-0 in the league. What does, that, what does that mean to you guys moving forward? Oh, I'm sure you're going to tell me I've got some insurmountable cushion or something when we get home. I, it just means I've got really good kids that play really good football. And uh, 
uh, I'm lucky to be their coach. And uh, I know Sonny will have his kids ready to play next week. Louisiana Tech has scored a lot of points on a lot of people. He's a really good football coach. He's a really good person. I know old Smoke will be ready to go. I love playing against him. He's, he's fun. He's a great football player. And uh, I hope the Alamo Dolphins rock it. we got a beautiful, beautiful football team. We're really injured. We're really beat up. But whoever we put out there, they find a way to win. Barnes comes with another big game. How do you kind of describe the impact he had on your offense? Just like all my players. I mean, like Payne A. Bear goes in left guard tonight. Taki, uh, Taki goes in for JT. Kavorian in. It's just whoever we put out there, somehow they just perform. Uh, they're magic. They're, 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 they're magic. I just, I'm the luckiest dude on the planet. All right, Jeff, appreciate it. Thank you all. God bless. Birds up.